Okay. I think, um, before I do some additional deck building, it might be smart to unlock everything else we could have available right now. So before I fiddle around with um, the Snow Queen some more, before I do Netsack's floor realization, I want to have everything available to me, because I think that what I might get from this one, or the one following the Index... Wait a second. Or this one. Oh yeah, this is the one following the Index. Interestingly enough. Um, anyway, I I must must be able to get like the big bosses of the farm from this one, right? Because in uh, Bina's mission or something, there's their names. It's a little bit spoilery sometimes to read the tasks, but in the end, I'm gonna book everyone, right? Anyway, so I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna do some deck building and maybe even next episode could be Netsex floor realization. I don't know when these episodes will go out. Just to date this again, it's still the 24th of um, November. However, it's late in the evening instead of early at night. Um, and I can just can't stop playing this game. Some of these story encounters are so fun. The Unstable Book of the Crying Children. We're gonna send in an invitation. Now. And it is the Liu Association self and branch office, as I thought it would be. Okay. It's Lowell. The most recent case of the distortion, the crying children, it's not quite comparable to the pianist, but the damage it's caused is still rather severe. Wait, the crying children are rampaging outside? I thought we contained them. With us. Maybe, I mean, Philip escaped. Maybe he distorted again or something. I don't know. It's Mai. Oh, she is cute. I like her hairstyle. It seems very um, Chinese styled, this office. The Liu. Is it Liu or Liu or... I don't know. <laughs> Please, don't rip me apart just because I can't read, like, foreign names. Since the crying children appeared in V-Corp's nest, not the back streets, multiple associations are troubled. V-Corp sounds cool. Director, could you remind us about how many casualties that has caused? Oh, Cecil. Please tell me Cecil is a girl with hair like that, because, oh, I like a good po ponytail to, you know, hold on to. Cecil is most likely a boy, right? I know it already. People will make fun of me again. It amounts to 80,000 as of now. That's still better than a pianist, which took 300,000 lives in one fell swoop. Crazy. Ooh, oh my lord. Fuck Cecil. On the side, I want Xiao. Oh, the messy hair. She looks like she looks like a wild dog. Not that I want to fuck wild dogs, okay? Oh god. Why did I even point it out now? But she looks like a wild woman, and I like wild women. Not quite. This is in fact more severe than the pianist, because it's still going on. Well, the pianist only annihilated the residential area of the back streets of District 9. The crying children struck the nest, which makes this case especially critical. Oh, I get the feeling that this encounter will be quite hard. <laughs> because it's four named people. <laughs> yeah, the nest is supposed to be the safest place of all. I thought Lowell would be... Like, the boss. Because it says Section 2 Director, but I assume she's even higher? Since she just ran in and... She looks more powerful? I don't know. Oh, hey there, Xiao. When did you come here? <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. She's Section 1 Director. Okay, oh wait, are they all Directors of Sections, maybe? I just didn't pay attention. What about May and, and Cecil? Section 1 is on high alert, you see. I'm here to ask what Section 2 thinks of this matter. Oh no, they're just regular fixes. Okay, so Lowell is the boss and um, Xiao is the, the big boss. Come on, be honest, Director Xiao. Cecil. Hmm. Anyway, the president of our association must be looking daggers at our backs. May, give a briefing on the information we've gathered around the crying children so far. Wow, so it's still going on outside then. How does this work when we have literally the ego page of it? Yes, sir, Philip. The man who is suspected to be the origin of the crying children was a fixer working at Dawn Office. Dawn Office was a grade 4 office located in Nest V. It was an associate office affiliated with the Liu and showed decent performance with a fair lineup. So, okay, so they feel directly responsible, I guess. It reminds me, isn't that where Salvador was? That is correct. I guess everyone knew the old man. <laughs> everyone knew his weird obsession with little boys and Sangwacha. <laughs> he 
He used to be a hotshot in his prime, though he's only a washed up old man now. He's he's dead. Sorry, he's dead. Booked, I mean, booked. He's still alive, but as a book. Going back to the briefing, the Dawn office has closed business after all of its fixers died in the library. Booked. Except for one, Philip. Philip was a grade 5 fixer. Being the only survivor, Philip paid a visit to Wedge Office, a partner of Dawn Office. Then the Wedge Office fell victim to the library. There's too little we can deduce from the story so far. Isn't it too speculative to assume that Philip is the crying children? Yeah, how do they even know that? Actually, there's some evidence to back this up. A fixer allegedly witnessed a marble statue crying near the library. According to them, the sound of wailing could be heard from afar, so I suspect it spent quite some time crying loudly. I suspect the fixer witnessing this must have been associated with the blue reverberation, and he's feeding them information because everything is going according to Kaikako for him. Then the statue's shape began shifting. Don't tell me, it turned into Philip? Apparently yes, although the transformation was imperfect, the eyewitness account had striking similarities to Philip's appearance as listed in official documents. However, the entity's skin, clothes and everything, it was all composed of wax, according to what they saw. Wax, but he's like very big with burn. It's interesting, he's destroying himself basically. Is this what it's saying? Is this like a metaphor? That thing wasn't human. Afterwards, Philip returned to where the Dawn office was and another well could be heard from that location for quite a while. Not long after that, it started destroying everything around it, except for the Dawn office. I couldn't see a single feature that resembles Philip from the reports describing its appearance there, though. Some cases of the distortion can change the form, so perhaps this was one such case. This is a tricky one. What do you think, Sal? Even though it's not crystal clear, it is plausible. I can't help but suspect the library. We know nothing about the reason it distorted the way it did. I guess, yeah. So they think we're the... Well, we are the reason for the distortions, admittedly. Shit. Fuck you, Angela. <laughs> the cop has hired Lou associ Association as a whole regarding this matter. Oh, so they're all gonna come. I assume the first encounter will be... Me... Just fighting, um, like, Lou Association fixes, regular ones. And then there's gonna be a second part. Because I think they went back to first part and second part encounters again. Hopefully, because I like that more, actually. I like having the cannon fodder separated from the actual fight. So you can grind a little bit with the cannon fodder, you can maybe get some pass passives, some pages, although I never used them. But still, being able to just get into the proper fight without having to go through different phases and several phases of just stuff that's easy, um, it's more to my liking. They requested us to acquire any and everything that appears to be related to the distortion, or dispose of it if the situation does not allow it. Many of our workforce will be allocated for tasks regarding the library for a while. The president and branch leaders must have lapped up this request since a wing made it. Every street in the city is going to be in a violent mess for some time. I wonder how much uh, the fight between the thumb and the index affects these people. Where is section 2 going to begin? We're starting out by investigating the library first, naturally. Of course, that won't be the only thing we'll be working on with our manpower. Lowell seems quite cool. You know, in, a, in another game he could be the protagonist, I think. What about Section 1? Section 1 will start with eliminating the crying children as the president directed. It's the most urgent matter that needs to be taken care of right now. You're taking through. Oh, you're taking tough work right from the get-go. I'm sure you won't have trouble handling it, Excel, but still, be careful. Is she a color or something? I assume if she was, it would be in her title, right? It's such a love but Director Lowell. There's quite a few associate officers to help them out, so it should be fine. <laughs> oh, there's something going on between them. Well, I can see that. And they have my blessing. I mean, I'm gonna book them soon anyway. <laughs> and I'm gonna lick Xao's book all over Lowell, and I will make your book watch. How about that, huh? Uh, anyway, I'm not, I'm not sure what to do with Cecil's book yet. Um, besides, we're talking about the Maiden of Iron herself. There's absolutely nothing to worry about. Okay. Is he still keeping the memories he had as a human, even after turning into dead? That must be why it didn't harm the Dawn office, I guess. There were several abnormalities that would talk about their own pasts too. It's not entirely impossible for it to happen. Yeah, fair. The others I've seen in here could talk to an extent. Hmm, rewatching the scene doesn't feel any better. I didn't expect him to break down so badly. 
thought he did okay and he did an okay job overcoming his flaws. Well, until he encountered, um, I can't, I can't fucking remember his name. The weird jester clown and Pluto. Why can't I remember the clown's name? I always think of Oscar, but Oscar obviously was the uh, wedge office dude. Oscar seems like... Uh, sorry if you're named Oscar, but Oscar is for me like a jester's name. I don't know why. It's I directly associated with it. Maybe you could have succeeded. However, no matter how capable you may be, you will still fall if you don't hold onto your way with an upright mindset. You should have been especially extra cautious not to succumb to the unstable side he always had. That's how it is, huh? Angela, no, you're not one to talk, you know? We've suppressed you three times so far. You have an extra unstable side as well. And you should be extra cautious too, yet it happens every fucking time. Once a month, I have to go in and slap your shit. Anyway. Oh, there's two acts, but actually, game sound is kind of like quiet. Um, there's two acts and we're beginning with what I imagined it would be. I don't know if the second act will be the named guys though. Let's see. Oh, another. Oh, this is so good because I need that. I need to... Uh, level up every page I have with some, if possible, cheap um, additional speed dice. Because some people still don't have an additional speed dice, like on Tiberius Floor, I think. Cooper and Parker. Although they do, but I don't know who, I, which one I gave them to. Anyway, I'm gonna use Malkov's Floor. Either Malkov or Yesod or Hot at this point, I think. Could be quite fun, right? We Have we used like the ego pages for Yesod's floor yet? No? Should we do it with Yesod maybe? Could be could be nice. Um, yeah, yeah, they're like normal against against uh, Blunt, so we're gonna do that. Anyway, further. Offensive dice gain plus one power at emotion level three or above. Pretty good for long drawn out fights. Frontal Assault. Zero cost on use one light. Very good. Pierce. Very good. We don't have that yet, I think. I'm not sure. Um, one, one cost. Combat start. Offensive dice yield plus one damage for the scene. Good to buff up your other card. Reduce power of tar target's current defensive die by two. And burn. A pierce burn. Interesting. Inner ardor. Gain one positive emotion coin. Could let you level up faster, possibly. I haven't fiddled with the coin system that much yet. I always just let it happen. But I think there are people out there that manipulate it quite to their liking and I guess if you do that you're better off. <laughs> Flower of the Sword costs one less at emotion level three or higher. Wow a one cost three to eight three to seven with burn two and one burn. This is shit I want on on Camille basically. I want to change up Camille's deck so it's not just single die anymore because while it seems fun with blazing strike and fierce charge the other cards just suck donkey balls to be honest. And Fleet Edge, 2 cost, 3 dice, gain haste on hit, medium rolls I, I would say, okay, emotional turbulence, a golden page, um, on use all dice on this page gain plus 1 power for every 2 emotion levels, wait I thought the highest emotion level was 5, or would it be every 2 then, it would be like plus 2 power then, but still very strong, also a counter dice. These are the ones I'm looking out for, because I kind of want to build a, a deck out of that. That seems like the most interesting thing to do right now with the current patch um, and the way it changed counter dice, basically, since they get recycled. And sturdy defense on use, draw one page. Wow, that fucking second die, 6 to 17, with another draw page. Crazy shit, and I assume like the next act will only be more crazy with the named people since they possibly have additional cards. Let's go. Bleeding time already, 20 minutes, and the only thing I've did was talk and read. Ooh, yeah, they all have two speed dice, which means this is gonna take a while, everyone. Let's see. I'm gonna react to everything as best I can. Oh yeah, it's, I changed Malk up a little, a little bit. I gave her some cards from... Uh, what were they called again? The Nemo office. What was the name? I don't remember. They were associated with the Gaze office. That I can remember somehow. I don't know why. Don't ask me why I remember that. <laughs> um, 
anything we want to take over here. I might as well take this over. Or rather, no, I won't. I won't. Someone is bound to have some counter die, no? Well, well, whatever. I'm gonna take whatever comes my way. Ah, oh, look at that, the zero cost puppet blockade with, with blunt. I can replace that with the zero cost uh, um, Pierce one I'm gonna unlock. Okay, so this is all taken care of. Um, any more two die ones, like this one? Hmm. Yeah, okay. Okay. Wait. I'm gonna... Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna do it like that. I'm gonna take some damage, but I, I need to, like... I need to find my way first. Oh, shit. Can't really do that. I have to do this instead. And now I can do that. And another one that wasn't taken over yet. This one. Shit, doesn't work. This one. <laughs> okay, um, Nicole will take some damage, but who cares? Let's see how strong they really are. I assume I'm gonna lose just about every, <laughs> almost every dice roll here. I've won some now. Damn, Absorb Impact is strong. I like the charge stuff, I really do. Building up a resource and then spending it. There's so many fun mechanics in this game, it's crazy. To think that it started out as a simple like card game, basically. And now it's come to this. So glad. So glad they, for me, they lived up to the hype and expectations I had after Lobotomy Corporation. There's people that didn't enjoy the gameplay of Lobotomy Corporation. I'm not one of them. I, I love the gameplay. I love the um, monster management simulation, basically. I'll give that to Camille. Okay. Um, let's see. Well, this is not gonna be great. On you has gained one positive emotion coin. Let's start up here. No, wait. Is anyone else attacking Harry? Yes, okay. We can only take one of these over. So the other one will run into our counter dice. We're not gonna take him over. Same here. It's all just as I planned, basically. Ah, oh, shit. This will be... This will be hard to beat. Hunter will take some damage, <laughs> definitely. Okay, we're gonna rewind and ripple, maybe? Rewind this? No, 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 we actually... Yes, yes, we're gonna rewind this. I don't know why people... Some people just want me to, to like, have a lot of gameplay. And I don't understand, since my gameplay at this point consists of doing this. Just looking at, looking at numbers, trying to process them in my head, and not quite, like, winning at all, I guess. But, whatever. People want this, people will get more of this. They're gonna... They're gonna get what they want. They want to see how I fail at this game, they're gonna get me failing at this game. And now we have this. So we're gonna focus on the top left one, still. Oh shit, did he break through my counter dice immediately? Well, this one is nearly staggered, that's good. Since we aren't staggered yet. Oh, oh he has 13 burn stacks though, how did that happen? Anyway, to... Uh, going back to the thing I was talking about just now, I don't think my gameplay is anything exciting or something. I mean my gameplay. In general, the gameplay is good, as I said before, but... I don't think I'm particularly good at it or something, so I don't understand. Also, if you play this game or if you watch someone play this game, why would you not be interested in the story or how they... how people perceive the story, how what they think about the story? This is for me the most important part, actually. And I'm sad, since I can't watch any other people play this, since I'm afraid of... Like, spoilers. I also don't know where to start, to be honest. Where would I start? 
like watching someone else play this. I know there's people out there. I've talked about this on stream. There's like someone watching this, someone in my, like a regular in my stream. I don't know if I can call it that. That sounds kind of weird. Um, is playing this game in a weird challenge kind of way. He, he tries to beat every encounter with just one nugget, for example. And he seems quite successful at it from the thumbnails and titles I've seen. But I also know um, that the stuff he uploads is spoilery for me at this point. God, how do I... Can I... I can't. And then again I can if I do this first. How much health does he have? 36, 66. I'm gonna do this. Then I'm gonna rip space. I could take this over and I think I will. I'm gonna do this instead. Um, anyway, so there's people out there that are definitely better than me. Which isn't hard to do, to be honest. So I don't know why we, you would watch me for like anything else. Oh god, this is gonna be a bad one. Nicole is gonna get staggered, definitely. And so might be Camille. I say might be, obviously she will be. But if we're lucky, we can like do this stuff first. Maybe we can stagger him first, who knows? The six against six should go first after all. Yeah, no. Well. Well. <laughs> well. Ooh, close. Good. Yes. I love a forceful gesture. Yes! Oh no, the red notes didn't prevail. So close to staggering them, but here we go. Now they are staggered. Yes, Malkov is cleaning up. So is Hunter. Okay. One of them dead. I'm doing fine so far. How many floors do I have for this? <sighs> Didn't pay attention. <laughs> okay, who is winning like clashes? Hunter still, I would say. He has the big rolls in his in his hand, like collision, transpierce, and tailoring. These are the clash winners basically. Okay. Let's see. No one attacking Harry, so he might as well take something over. Let's, let's take this one, for example, and then we can take this one. That's something taken care of, at least. And now we can take like, this, and the weight up will go into that nugget. I say that, not quite that. Spend 4 charge to restore 3 light. Absolutely crazy. I don't have 4 charge yet, though, and... I have a way to gain it though, so I could do this and then not quite follow up with this because I don't have the light for it. <laughs> but whatever. Man, energy cycle is kind of shit, right? I kind of need to replace it with energy conversion or something. But energy cycle gives charge while energy conversion restores charge, so I'm gonna have to like optimize the charge deck, definitely. Anyway, there's only this left. We could maybe stagger him. So this guy won't die, but it doesn't matter. As long as we stagger the others, maybe. Or don't get staggered ourselves, that would be like better already. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. That's good. Oh, the fucking 15! He rolled a 15! Crazy. Crazy bitches. Um, as much as I would love this, I'm gonna take the vines and buff up Hunter some more. I'm also gonna take, obviously I'm gonna take the mass attack because I know there's gonna be a second um, act. And I'm gonna need it. I wonder if I should use it right now actually. Against, yeah, the left dice are, are weak. Wait, it's a slash one. I'm gonna use Nicole for that. I don't even need to queue up anything else, do I? <laughs> do I? I don't think so. But it's still gonna take everything over again. Good, 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 good. Um. Oh shit, there's one going after. Like if I do this instead. I can't quite take it over, but it happens first anyway, right? Does it? I don't know. 
I don't quite know. Let's just see it happen. To take this over still, no way to do it. Let's just try to gang up on this one and kill him. Yeah, it's gonna happen first, okay, and... Wow, it's so devastating, I love it! Look, they're all fucking dead, <laughs> immediately, or almost. Wait, it skipped the whole turn, didn't it? Oh, did I... Oh, it skipped the turn because everyone I queued something up on died. <laughs> That's funny, I didn't queue up anything else on this guy. <laughs> He just got staggered from this? Oh, I love this so much. I love the mass attack pages. I love the ego pages. Oh no, look, it's just more fixes, as I said. So there has to be a second reception. We're gonna do that today too. Maybe I have to cut out some stuff from like these fights because it's, or maybe I'm gonna speed it up. We haven't done that in a long time. Um, do they have anything new? I don't think so. They all should have the same deck. Emotional turbulence and sturdy defenses, like being the strong cards of this. Anyway, like these fights, they're not as important or interesting, right? We all want to see me fight against um, Xiao, for example. Anyway, I'm just gonna like press P for the rest because I I am strongly thinking that this is it. Anyway, so like one smoke deck per floor would be crazy good, I think. Would be enough. All right, we fit some of it. And this just killed three of them. <laughs> well, it staggered the others, I guess. Oh no, it killed four with the burn effect. Um, how much burn do you have? Four. Gonna pee again. That's it. Ah, oh, this was fun. I loved this. Stacking up two big cards like that. Curtain call for the reception of Liu, Liu Association. Sorry, I'm having a stroke. One. Okay, so there's gonna be a two. Uh, yes, okay. Good. To think we've got Lu Association coming to the library. What kind of association is it? It's a combat-oriented association specializing in all-out war. Basically the polar opposite of the Xi we received the other day. Why? The Xi are sturdy, the Lu are just offensive? While the library's reception structure acted as a strategic advantage against the Xi Association, it's an ideal stage for the Liu. You mean each association employs different strategies depending on its areas of expertise and atmosphere? Yep, just take the two associations we talked about, for example. They're completely op complete opposites. I could get a glimpse of that from the association's atmosphere. Hmm, I wonder if the people who appear to hold rather high positions will come to the library in future. Like, now? <laughs> Beats me. If they do, though, it'll be a huge pain in the ass for sure. I see. There's not much I can do to help alleviate that, so good luck taking the trouble. <laughs> come on, Ashley, you can take it up the ass for us. Please. Yes! We can do it. Wait, what does the other one need? Liu Association 1? It does! So, okay, so this opens up like either, I assume, thumb, thumb stuff? Or maybe index stuff? Or more Liu Association stuff? I guess it's thumb stuff since it's thumb 1 and thumb 2. So I'm gonna... Ooh, what am I gonna do? Yeah, let's do this one. Hopefully, uh, I've been recording for 40 minutes. I'm gonna have to cut some stuff out of this episode. Sorry if I cut out important stuff. But let's go. Hopefully the story won't be too long here. May, we've been receiving reports recently that cases of the distortion are growing exponentially centered around Nest L. Even private offices are reluctant to take the work going so far as to cancel contracts one-sidedly. Not only would they shun requests about dealing with distortions, they'd also avoid any task related to the library as well. We're getting too powerful. I guess it was to be expected. There's a reason that Leo was put in charge. Director, I heard that Section 1 has sent us a report about the distortion. Yeah, that's why I called you here. You both know how we're encouraged to take records of the distortion in order to gather data, right? Yes, and our records can only be shown to those in close proximity to a Moonlight Stone. Product of MCOP Singularity. <laughs> the fuck is a Moonlight Stone now? Which we're obliged to carry for our mission, so it doesn't matter much to us. Maybe it's something to make them forget or something. What they send is no ordinary report, is it? If you're sharing it with us. You got that right. There's something that irked me about the footage that came with it. Long story short, the Liu Asso South Section 1 has failed to capture the crying children. Wow! Was the team wiped out? No! Xiao! No, they just missed it. But if Section 1, led by Director Xiao of all people too, couldn't capture it, this can't be an average urban nightmare. Has it been exalted recently? 
We'll watch the footage first. It starts around here. Wow. Stay sharp, people. You never back down, no matter what happens. Yes, ma'am. Director, the crying children just fell to the ground. Miris. It won't be flying anymore with that messed up body. We're almost there. This is the final push, so give it your all. The director, there's someone. What? Ah, oh, you poor thing. Section one of the Liu is out of out for your blood, little kid. It's a Galia. <laughs> Isn't it sad that no one recognizes the pure and clean melody flowing within you? He's in every single branch of the story now, isn't he? The blue reverberation. Hi there, been a while, huh? <laughs> wow, immediately clashing. I like her. She is hot-blooded. Your greeting is as sharp as bite and bitey as I remember. I don't know what you're up to this time, but I'd be glad if you could gently retreat and stay out of this. Or maybe help, you know. I'm only here to take that pitiful friend rejected by everyone, that's all. Oh no, Philip will work with Arcadia now. Injured, abandoned, and about to be struck down by the likes of you. How sad, all he wanted to do was cry. I would shed tears for him, almost. Cut the nonsense, what more could you possibly want to justify doing this? I doubt the fix at your standing would feel that anything is insufficient. Don't think being a color will save you. If you keep snooping around pulling nonsense like this, your elimination will be in order one day. To feel that nothing is insufficient, eliminate it. Tell me, are you satisfied with your current life? Affluence on the surface isn't all there is to it. A corner of my heart is always empty. When I try to fill it with useless things, it only gets bigger and strangles me. <sighs> Choke me, Argadia. Yes, I'm looking for something, a something that has to fit in that void. I think I found it, but I've yet to claim it. I can't wait for the day I fill that emptiness and make myself whole. Oh, is yours filled already? Filled by a person dear to you. Don't yap your mouth any further. I like how they have all of this on video. <laughs> it's like watching a soap opera. <laughs> Haha, -ha, I can't dare to crack a joke under your fierce gaze. Mm. I'd hate to see each other's insights today, so could you kindly put this scary fellow away? Just one last question. What in the wing's name are you planning to do with a monster like that? That's a funny question. When there's a pitiful thing on the street, everyone gets the urge to bring it home and adore it, no? I think this one could join me. He looks like an interesting specimen, too. Don't you agree, Oswald? <gasps> Oswald, that's his name. That's another cloud name. Clown name. Okay, the 8 o'clock ringmaster, he's here. He smells too sour right now, but in our hands, he'll be letting off a dirty stench in <gasps> no time. This weird sourness is what you get if you don't know how to wash your body, right? I was just about to neaten him nicely, but Mr. Funnybones over there had to send him elsewhere. What even? <laughs> the bottom line is, us taking him in shouldn't bother you at all. If I took him, he'd stop destroying this nest any further. In other words, I'm saving you the fundamental trouble of taking care of him. No, that's all the more reason to stop you. For us capturing the distortion is an option. Creatures are everywhere in the city. Does it have to be this poor friend? I'm starting to get tired of talking, so let's wrap up our friendly conversation here. Oswald, give them a show for me. Is he gonna force distort all of the people here or something? Look, he's wearing the blue suit now too. Miss Mermaid, Mr. Knife, it's time to show the skills we've owned and wet. This place will be filled with thunderous cheers and wondrous applause. Damn it, director, give us an order. Don't fucking die, everyone. Objective survive, easy. Blue reverberation. The three of us can go to a quiet place for some private talk. Pluto? But of course. Okay, Pluto seems to be able to teleport people, like, freely. The blue reverberation. I don't get it, why would a fix at such a high grade do something like that? It's beyond anyone's understanding for now, only the blue reverberation himself knows. Anyway, even though the team had no problem handing the troopers of the 8 o'clock circus, the blue reverberation vanished with the crying children in the meantime. Section 1 will be staying at the temporary base for a few more days to secure samples of other distortions. So that's why they hadn't come back this, by this morning. I was wondering if anything had happened to them. You must be worried a lot, Director. Not at all. I trust in Xia. Setting that aside, how's our situation? Maybe I'm gonna mind break him first before I, like, lick Xiao. Section 2 isn't exactly doing much better. 
The staff we dispatched to Nest L have reported several casualties, including a sizable number of associate officers. If we continue, we might be in serious trouble. Yeah, we can't just sit here and take the losses forever. We have to go there ourselves. We did make some progress, though. We found that every person who was subject to, subject to the distortion phenomenon was under extreme emotional stress. Oh, okay, so they're actually finding out how it works. Emotional stress, sir? Ooh, sorry, I don't know if you can hear the like, cable of my headphone. It seems evident that those... Oh, May. It seems evident that those who manifested the distortion were emotionally pressured to an extreme. But the thing is, who in the city doesn't get stressed in their life, really? Everyone's holding the anguish within themselves. Exactly. This is my speculation, but it might be that the distortion occurs when the emotion bottling up inside exceeds a certain threshold. What that threshold may be, or how high it may be, is still a mystery, though. I think it's different for every person. If your hypo hypothesis is sound, the only ways to stop the distortion altogether would be to reduce people's stress or heighten each person's threshold. Maybe with a big healthy dose of a seed of light. Neither of which is possible in a city. There still isn't enough evidence to prove it. We need more info. Well, it's our job as fixers to fix the problems we're paid to solve. We've got to see what else can be done. I have high expectations for this invitation. Let's buck up a little. Understood. By the way, Director, how's that one thing going? Hmm? Oh, are you talking about me entering the dumpling making contest? What? <laughs> the dumpling making contest? No, wait. I never told anyone but Xel about that. No, I mean the preparation for your first wedding anniversary next month. Holy shit, they are actually already married. This is going to be so good when I cook them. I heard you're going to give a nest migration permit as a present. Wait, what? Nest migration? What? How did you? Mm-hmm. What sprout so quickly? Oh, Cecil is embarrassed. That looks cute. Come on, Director. Everyone in Section 2 is gossiping about how you're spending your newlywed life with Director Xiao, the Maiden of Iron. Oh, the death flags are raising left, right and center. Just like something else. Um, let's save that for after we've finished our work. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Mai, for raising them. And Cecil, we should have a nice... We should have a little chat later. What? Why? Is Cecil, like, jealous? Yes, sir. Huh? Why? Why does Lowell want to chat with Cecil? Did I miss something? Sometimes I'm quite dense when it comes to, like... Social interactions between people. I'm still unsure what the blue reverberation's goal is, but I think I get one thing for certain. That he's an absolute nutcase? <laughs> I'm not in the mood for jokes. It's not a joke, though! <laughs> From what we've seen so far, the blue reverberation was gathering distortions. No, I'm not sure if they can be called as such. Distortions that are capable of thinking and acting rationally. Sure, that's what he seems to be doing, but... We still don't have a clue why. What's a bunch of freaks going to do? Attack us, you fucking idiot. Whatever it may be, I don't think it will be a good thing. In any case, we're wasting our time by pondering over a question we'll never figure out the answer to on our own. Well, that's a good point. So, I suppose it's common for fixers to start families? Oh, it is. They're often in life or death situations together, working face to face. Most end in tragedy, though. If a couple's staying in a fixer business, it won't take long until one of them, er only one of them remains. Exhibit A. This guy. Good point. That fixer is about to meet his end here too. <laughs> wow, Angela. You're speaking way too casually about it. Ah, oh, Roland, I'll say this before you get sentimental. They could very well make the choice to not come to the library. I'm not so sure about that. Yet they still choose to come here out of their own volition. You keep repeating that, but I'm not so sure about that. Urban nightmares and beyond are no longer a matter of choice. Urban nightmares and stars of the city are designated as such because there's an invisible sense of compulsion involved. Invisible compulsion? That doesn't change the fact that they're able to make choices. If they have things they cherish so much, why should they risk their lives by going to a dangerous place? Because they need to make a living, Angela. <laughs> it's their job. They have the liberty of choice. Angela, you were right when you said no one is truly free in this city. Choice and liberty? The things they cherish so much? People's desires clash and intertwine with one another to create an intangible chain. That's life in the city. Them coming here, sis, as the association ordered. All the guests ending up as books in the library. Me leaving the house for urgent work. They might seem like choices made out of free will, but in truth, our hands were forced by the shackles of others' desires. Huh. So, are you saying that I shouldn't pursue my freedom because I must show consideration for them? Actually, I said that kinda like with a sigh, but she looks quite angry. And... 
honestly, how can people still defend Angela? She's such a little bitch saying that. Because I'm a machine, because I'm unworthy. No, it's got nothing to do with those. But if you keep trying to earn freedom this way, the karma will come back to strangle you one day. Enough of that drivel. This is this and that is that. Jesus. And we're here. This place looks a lot more antiquated than I expected. It does for sure. Are you gonna decorate your house in this style, Director? Well, Xiao prefers something cute. Uh, mate, stop asking silly things and focus on work. Oh, so that's our Section 1 Director's tastes, I see. I'll take note of that. Oh, Cecil is so cute, she can't be a boy, please! Ah. Greetings, dear guests. I'm Angela, the director and librarian of my role's namesake. We are the fixers of Section 2 of the Liu Association Southern Branch. We've come to retrieve the books listed on the invitation. You may take them, if you can overcome the ordeals. Why is she looking at me? <laughs> Do you have anything else to say? The situation is pressing and a quick guidance would be appreciated. No, fucking die. <laughs> Are the books truly worth risking your life over, however? What do you mean? I'm asking if they're valuable enough for you to give up the choice of everyday life. A machine that's curious about the lines, huh? Ooh, this is what I must do to protect the choice of life you just mentioned. There aren't a lot of things that are done out of one, one's own volition, and we can't exactly afford to skip on work we don't feel like doing. I see. So you were coerced into making this choice. May we enter now? You may, and you might find your book in this place. Two acts, one floor. This is gonna be hard. I most likely will skip this one on the video. So I'm gonna concentrate and just try to do my best. Oh fuck, I wanted to do Yesod's floor earlier, right? And I somehow didn't. Let's not. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That was actually hard as nails. I must have done something wrong. Because the only survivor is Hunter with like 3 HP. Everyone else is dead. And look at these guys. Lowell, Cecil, May and these two fixes. Well, for one, Lowell apparently gets an additional speed die on Emotion Level 3. So, gee Lowell, how come your mom lets you have 3 speed dies at Emotion Level 3? I don't know, <laughs> this is crazy, this seems like the big, big step up deck-wise. So it's quite good that I did this because... Well, I'm not gonna give this to Natsak, fuck him. <laughs> I'm gonna use this on another floor. <laughs> but still, anyway, um, whenever the emotion level rises, he also gains one strength and endurance. And he recovers 50% of max HP. And recovers 25% of max stack resist. And offensive dice gain plus one power at emotion level 3 or above. <clears throat> Same for Cecil, recovers HP and gains plus power. Same for May, recovers stagger, gains plus power. These, I don't care. Uh, the exclusive combat pages, um, Mai has Tie Shankao, which on hit inflicts one plus personal emotion level amount of burn. So that could be like a six burn attack on a blunt card with a three to six counter dice. Mm -hmm. Just if you want to build more counters. And I think she has some more like cards related to her, like High Kick has her depicted as well, and I don't think we've seen this one yet. Um, yeah, and, and Cecil? And Cecil has to be a girl, right? Way too feminine. Uh, Iron Wall, gain 1 endurance next scene, at emotion level 3 or high, gain 2 endurance instead. 3 to 8, 3 to 8, 2 to 6. Pierce, very strong card. And Gale Kick. A 5 to 12 with another counter. Draw one page on hit. Oh man. And Lowell. This this guy, he just gets it gets to have it all, right? Forming storm. Four four light. Attack with one dice. Individual on hit and flick free burn. I don't know why it has that, because it says on use, remove all dice from this page. Add a mass attack page to hand that can only be used next scene. This page is exhausted on use. So I don't quite understand why you would have that individual on hit and flick free burn. Maybe it's maybe it's a preview of what you're gonna get next turn. So it's like a prepare for next turn type of attack. I'm gonna lose this, but maybe I'll have at least enough. Um... <laughs> Wait, how much light do I have? Shit, it's not quite enough for two of them. Oh no! Which one do you think could? like do the most damage 
green stem. It's 3 to 9 individual. They're starting out with, well, I say they're starting out with weak attacks, but emotional turbulence right off the bat is gonna screw me over. Well, there's nothing I can do here. There's <laughs> really nothing I can do in this case, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, no. Not even. Oh, enough to stagger like this guy up here, but everyone else. Oh, look, we get his pet. We get. We get Hunter's passive again, as, as long as we don't get staggered, which we will, don't worry. Um, <laughs> I could use another mass attack page next turn, but we will get staggered. No, no, we won't! Oh no, we died. We died to burn. Well, all of the hype is gone. Um, I, I'm not gonna get defeated by that. I'm gonna do this now. You're gonna... I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I just need to do it again. Better. Better. Okay, um, I, I mean, I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm using Yasser's floor now. <laughs> and I'm basically banking everything on this one turn where Yasser is using regret on Lowell. Hopefully, like, staggering him and giving us um, enough emotion, like, coins and stuff to get into the next emotion level to, to maybe get another uh, ego page, you know, just to carry me through this. Um, it's been quite hard so far. Okay, we're not even starting with the regret, apparently, since it had a lower speed die. It's good. Oh, so far so good. The counter dice are pulling through. I'm very low overall, again, and I might not do this once, once more. It could just happen, but oh, look at this. This is pretty good. I like that we start with them paralyzed, basically. This is the advantage of this floor and the decks, the decks I'm currently using. Here we go, regret. Yeah, okay. Is he staggered, though? I couldn't quite tell. The effect was a little bit too much. If he isn't, some other people are gonna attack him. Yeah, here we go. He is staggered now, and one of his speed dice is like, sealed, but that doesn't matter. He is on 5 HP. I'm gonna kill him. 24 HP, okay, because emotion level triggerage, I guess. Okay, we could deal more additional damage with the this Act and suffer more stagger damage, or we could just get more damage overall, or just make Yasod even stronger. <laughs> Let's go with this one for uh, Emma, though. Okay, so be one target again be one target again as well that would be a mass attack but if I choose some weak dice that could be good look Lowell is staggered he will definitely die now I'm not gonna fuck this one up so the right die is weak 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 the left die are the stronger ones yes so we're gonna I don't think I have anyone that is like good with with slash damage or something but we deal additional stagger damage with attacks at speed 5 or higher with this deck for example and we have refraction and dimensional sections on this on this uh, character so i'm gonna do this on the rightmost die and hopefully th this will definitely kill him too right it's three attacks at two seven three eight four nine okay now we just need to react React and survive, basically. It's it's a, a classic case of um, objective. Survive. We can take over a lot with Vera. She might as well die. But she... We just used Observe, so she has a little bit more strength. So she might not even, you know? Oh, I love the music. Is this new? Is this music new? <laughs> Can't tell. <laughs> Okay, yes, I can still take over stuff as well. Look, inflict feeble to a random enemy at combat start. That's big, good, and great. And I love it. Like, my own mom. Quite a lot. But I, I mean, I love her, but she's getting on my nerves. <laughs> no, the music... Wait, what was it talking about even? <laughs> I don't know. It's just that I have a feeling that I might beat this encounter, and that's why I'm starting to talk shit here. Okay, I'm gonna... Take some stuff over with Yasod here. 
some stuff that I think might not work as well otherwise. These guys are still full health, you know? It's just that Lowell is low. I shouldn't shouldn't be too cocky. Let's see this happen. Okay, Lowell is on four. Lowell is dead. I didn't get his book, I think, so I'm gonna have to do this encounter again. But for now, it's just about, like, beating him. Okay. And the section 2 fixer, like the regular one. Okay, both of them. One of them dead, the other one almost dead. It's only May and Cecil left. I should be able to defeat two enemies with like five nuggets still available, right? I can't be that fucking bad, can I? And Cecil is staggered. Mwah. Yes, that's floor. I, I don't know why I ever abstained the Boonga, to be honest. Because I just love the Oonga. Ah. Oh. So good, I might even be able to pee this, you know? Which I won't, I don't want to risk this. <laughs> okay. Ah, um. oh, look, we can we can go hard here. We can go hard on the, on the offensive and take over still. Like that. Just, you know, sacrifice Galena if, if need be. Or Yasuo can take stuff over. Oh god, this is... Oh, this is it, guys. I'm winning. Winning! <laughs> Hashtag winning. I'm doing it, mom. Are you proud of me? You're gonna get, like, I don't know. The first phase wasn't really too interesting, to be honest. Okay, this should be it, though. Like, Cecil should die in another hit or two. And May should be at least staggered next attack. Oh, man, the counter dice! It's pulling through against my opportunity spotted, I have to say. I have to admit. But that didn't help in the end. Oh god, I fucking did it. I can't believe it. This was very hard. Even though it only took me two tries, it still was very tense. I love this. I love it when it's tense and hard. Yeah, we didn't get... <laughs> we, we didn't get um, Lowell's book at all. But I can grind that later, you know? It's not too bad. Yep, this is how it was bound to end, I guess. I'm not sure I understand. The things people must do in order to secure the joys of ordinary life, people's mindsets when they do such work. The reason your attitude has suddenly changed when you had no problem laughing off the deaths of numerous other people in the city who were different from who were no different from them. It's because they weren't newlyweds. Come on, Angela, read the mood. And most of all, the reason I can't understand all of this. There's nothing I can do about the misfortune of others. I just learned to lightly brush off the tragedies I can't do anything to help with. Laughing things off is the only way to stay sane in this city. I still can't help, help but laugh a bitter laugh about matters I should take responsibility for, though. Well, I suppose dwelling on a problem without a conclusion would be considered strangling yourself. I'll admit, I got too emotional this time. I never meant to say you're unworthy to gain freedom or anything, Angela. That's that, and this is this. I know, both you and I are bearing many wounds. My words were too harsh too. No, you were a little bitch, Angela. Alright, we cool. Let's just let it slide. Fighting each other won't do us any good. Are you afraid, Roland? Okay, this has to be the end for this one, though. Jesus Christ. Look, we didn't even... <laughs> we didn't even do Bina's mission, which might be for the best, because we might have, like... No, let's do that next time. Um, so everyone, bye.